A final salute is in order for the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire, the French warship set for decommissioning. Born of the need for maritime superiority, this warship was constructed with the utmost precision and dedication, becoming a testament to French naval engineering. It served as a stalwart defender in the French Navy, its presence a symbol of power and resolve on the open seas. Throughout its service, the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire participated in numerous operations, its crew facing the unpredictable nature of naval warfare with unwavering bravery. Yet like all things, its time has come. The decommissioning of any vessel is an event filled with mixed emotions. It marks both an end and a beginning, the closing of a chapter, and the start of a new one. Several factors have led to its decommissioning. Advances in technology, changing warfare tactics, and the natural wear and tear of time have all played their parts. The vessel, once a frontline combatant, finds itself at the crossroads, its future uncertain. As the sun sets on the service of this remarkable vessel, one can't help but look back at its illustrious journey with respect and admiration. Yet, as one chapter closes, another may be opening. There's talk of a potential new home for the FS Premier Mater Lahaire. This grand warship, with its decades of service for France, may not have sailed its last voyage just yet. Whispers have been circulating about a possible new destination for this seasoned veteran of the seas, the Philippine Navy. Now this isn't a simple case of, one man's trash is another man's treasure. No, the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire is far from being relegated to the scrap heap. This warship still has plenty to offer, and for the Philippine Navy, it could represent a significant bolstering of their naval capabilities. Consider this. The ship is equipped with sophisticated technologies and weapon systems that could be a boost for a country looking to strengthen its maritime defense. The FS Premier Maitre Lahaire is no ordinary vessel. She's a potent symbol of naval power and acquiring her could send a strong message to the world about the Philippines' readiness to protect its waters. However, acquiring a warship of this caliber is not without its challenges. There's the issue of cost, of course. Then comes the question of maintenance, and the training required for the crew. It's a hefty commitment, and one that will require careful consideration. But let's not forget the potential benefits. The FS Premier, Maitre Lahaire, could provide invaluable training opportunities for the Philippine Navy personnel. It could also serve as a deterrent to potential threats, boosting the country's security. It's a tantalizing prospect, and one that could bring a whole new dimension to the Philippines' naval force. On the flip side, there are those who question whether this is the right move for the Philippines. Does the country need such a powerful warship? Is it worth the investment? These are valid questions, and ones that need to be addressed in the coming days and weeks. As speculation swirls, the future of the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire remains a hot topic in military circles. Whether she will find a new home in the Philippines or perhaps somewhere else entirely, only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the story of this formidable warship is far from over. While the fate of the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire is uncertain, one thing is clear, the face of naval warfare is rapidly changing. As we sail into the future, we're seeing a shift in the tides. The once dominant hulking battleships are making way for more agile, technologically advanced warships. These new vessels are not only faster and more maneuverable but they're also equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and state-of-the-art surveillance systems. The impact of these changes is reverberating across the globe, transforming naval strategies and defense postures. Countries are investing heavily in their naval fleets, recognizing the strategic importance of controlling the seas in an increasingly interconnected world. The role of the Navy is no longer just about projecting power, but also about providing a rapid response to crises, protecting trade routes, and supporting global peacekeeping efforts. As we bid adieu to the FS Premier Maitre Lahaire, we also welcome an exciting new era of naval warfare.